My name is Nancy Lee. I'm a associate attending Department of Radiation Oncology focusing on head and neck cancer. Hi, Mr. McPeak. Hello, How, How are you? How are you, kiddo? Good. Good to John see you. is a patient of mine. Um, he was diagnosed with uh, cancer involving the base of tongue. When they found it, it had already come, you know, metastasized over to here. And uh, my cancer has four stages and I was in the fourth stage. So that was rather exciting. <laughs> Patients, many times when they have cancer, they're very nervous and they feel like they have a death sentence, basically. When they come to see me, after talking, explaining all the radiation, I give them hope because there is hope. Her focus was so intense and so warm that you couldn't, you couldn't walk away from it. I remembered saying to her, what I am worried about is the quality of life afterwards. And I said, particularly the fact that because this cancer is centered here, and the fact that all of my business is done by talking, you've got to save my voice. I mean, I, you know, don't take away my voice and say, fine, you're cured, you know. She says, don't you worry. She said, you're gonna have your voice. She said, I'm an artist. When a patient comes to see me, I describe I'm a painter, basically. The biggest advancement in radiation oncology ever, it really is the introduction of intensity modulated radiation therapy, or IMRT. My goal is to paint and sculpt out where the, the dose of radiation will go to and minimize the dose to the normal tissue. Everyone has a CT scan, an MRI scan, and a PET CT scan all together with all the bits of information from all these scans, as well as my physical examination, I start painting a piece of artwork. So where the tumor is, um, we will paint that color red, for example, because that's where we want the highest amount of radiation to be targeted at. The color orange, where the tumor is likely to spread, almost predicting where it's gonna spread next. And then also with the color yellow, where you're predicting the likelihood that area will harbor cancer cells microscopically. After I paint the piece of artwork and I know exactly where I want to deliver the radiation, I would converse with the treatment planner in the medical physics department. And then the treatment planner will design a treatment plan with different beam angles targeting where we want to treat the tumor. The computer will then find the best solution to treat this patient. The multidisciplinary nature of cancer treatment is what we strive for. So every patient that's been seen at Memorial Sloan Catering for head and neck cancer, you'll see the head and neck surgeon, the radiation oncologist, myself, and the medical oncologist, and we will independently assess the tumor. We actually have three different disciplines working together as a team to deliver the best care. What's most satisfying to me, during treatment we can see the tumor shrinking and by the end of treatment practically all patients we will see him or her having a complete response meaning no evidence of any tumor at the end of treatment. John's outcome was um, excellent. His tumor has completely melted or is gone and he is back to work. We don't just end our relationship after your treatment. We will follow you for the rest of your life. Dr. Lee was so positive that don't worry, I will fix it. She did this here. She also put her hand this way. That it's a caress. And you need a caress this time of your life. You know? I think of all my patients as my family members. I tell patients that I can't promise anything because nobody can promise anything, but I can promise one thing, that I will do the best for you um, in terms of taking care of you as if I'm taking care of my family members.